What's going on guys, Alger Anastasio here with FlightPath.com. Now Nebot actually reached out to me a couple months ago asking me if I wanted to review it and it was one of those products where I was like, okay, I've had something like the iRobot years and years ago. Uh, you know, how much has changed since then? So maybe you want to look into the company a little bit more and looking at what they had on the market, which is this one right here, and also their reviews on Amazon. They have like a four and a half star, almost five star review on Amazon. I was like, okay, well, first and foremost, I'd love to have a, another robot vacuum because here I have a little bit more room, so I felt like it was one of those things where I definitely could take advantage of using something like this. So I did let them know that I was interested in reviewing the product. However, it's not a paid product uh, review. I told them if there's something I like and don't like about it, I'm gonna mention it in my video, and they were like, absolutely, go ahead. We'd love to not only just hear your feedback and get your comments and uh, your opinion on it, but you know they want to actually get that feedback so that they can make their next product a lot better. So Nibot did send me this and for the past month or so, actually for the past, I'd probably say a little bit over a month, if you guys haven't been following me on my Instagram stories, I'll pretty much post something about this thing almost every week. I've been running this thing daily for the past month. So in this video, I just wanna to talk to you about some of the things I really like about this robot vacuum and a couple of things I think they might be able to improve on in the future iterations. But first, a word from today's sponsor, Epidemic Sound. So if you're looking at taking your content to the next level, Epidemic Sound has been my go-to source for all my music in my videos. Whether I'm editing drone footage, behind the scenes, or some of my vlogs, Epidemic Sound provides high quality, royalty-free music so you never have to worry about copyright claims or losing monetization on your videos. They have a couple plans to choose from, whether it's a personal plan for most content creators or if you want to get the commercial plan, mostly geared towards freelancers as well as businesses. Both plans give you full access to over 32,000 songs in their library as well as all of their sound effects. So if you want to enhance your videos with some sound design, make sure you guys check the link down below in the video description for a no commitment, 30 day free trial of Epidemic Sound. And now back to the video. So let's go through those differences that I felt like were really good about this. And of course, a couple of things that I'm like, hey, you know, it'd be nice if this thing was fixed or if it did this and that. Let's talk about those a little bit towards the end. But let's go through quickly about some of the highlights of the Nebots, which is a self-emptying robot vacuum. Now, one of the first things that drew me to some of the newer robot vacuums is the ability to see and do everything via your phone app. Now, the great thing about the phone app is that when this thing moves around your house or your apartment or your place, what it does is actually with LiDAR starts spinning and mapping out your entire layout of that area. Now I didn't really understand how it was actually mapping it out until I saw this spinning around on my security camera and when I looked at my security camera, you can start seeing this laser being shot out all the way across your floor. And what that's doing is actually mapping out that entire environment. And when this thing spins around and maps out that environment, what it does is it actually gives you a little model on the Nebot app to show you exactly room for room, how it is actually laid out, where the vacuum is going to, and shows you the entire route that the vacuum has taken, and also some of the rooms that it hasn't gone to yet. The next thing I found in the app that I really liked was, especially during Christmas time when I was using this, you're able to set up, they call no-go zones, which basically block off areas in the house. And the main reason why you would want to have these no-go zones is basically if you have things that might be fragile or especially when we had our Christmas tree up, we didn't want it to go near the Christmas tree. So we actually just drew a little map around that area of where the Christmas tree is. And then this thing will actually go all the way up to that boundary and start making its way around. Also through the app, if you want this thing to automatically go on a schedule, so if you just wanted it to go every day or every other day at 9 p.m. at night before you go to bed or anything like that, you just have to set it on the schedule and it'll automatically go based on that schedule you put on the phone. Now one of the things I was concerned about when I was using this is will it get jammed up or clogged on my high pile carpet? Now I have a rug that's in my living room and the carpet on there is about a little over an inch thick and this thing was able to go right on top of it and without any problems, wasn't stopping or anything like that on the carpet. So that was my main concern. Was it able to do thicker carpet? This thing was able to handle it. Like I said, it was a little bit over an inch thick of carpet. Now the way that's great about using this even on those high pile carpet or the thick carpet is that you can actually change the suction power on the types of floors that it's going to. So what I have on this right now is that when it goes over the carpet, I have this turned on to high or the highest suction power. Then when it goes onto the floor or just our hardwood, I have it set to either low or the medium. And there was a couple of times when we had just a little bit more higher traffic on the carpet itself. I was actually able to go into the app and say, I wanna have my living room go through a double pass, which basically means 
Everything else in the house will just do a single pass, but when you get to the carpet, I want you to do a double pass and it'll basically map out the carpet itself or that area and just go through it once and then come back around and then go through it again. So let's take a little closer look at the Kneebot itself. And of course, why this thing is important is because of the fact that it actually can auto dock, auto dispense itself. But at the very top here, if you want to manually press it, you have a recharge button, the power button, and also spot cleaning button. So if you just want it to stay in a specific area and vacuum a little bit more, you're able to do that. This thing also comes with a remote control, but I'll normally do everything through the phone app, but it actually does have a physical remote control that you're able to use. Now we do have this spinning sensor here, but we also have sensors here all the way around. And this is the front of it. So it has the sensors here on the very front. Right here. Now at the very bottom of the Kneebot, here we have the rollers and your wheels. Now this is actually why you're able to actually take it onto those higher or thicker carpets is because they have these deep rubber wheels right here, which are really strong. You have these brushes that extend out a little further than the actual robot itself for you to get underneath those cabinets. So all this does is keeps spinning. So when it goes underneath all of your cabinets and everything, it reaches out, spins it back in, and of course suctions it up right here with this main roller and vacuum right here in the middle. The one thing I did see that was pretty nice is that if you wanted to clean this out, so if you have a lot of hair stuck in this roller, all you have to do is pull this little clip and comes out just like so. And then you can just pop this out. And as you can see here, still have a bunch of dirt and hair on there, but it makes it super easy for you to get access to this thing. I just take a little scissors, cut all that off here, and you can actually see on the inside of where that vacuum sucks up brings it right in here through the rollers and brings it into that canister on the inside. This will automatically go back whenever it either needs charging or it's done with cleaning that area. It'll go back, it'll then dock right here on this area. And these two little rollers are actually recharging pins which match up to these plates right there. So these plates just back up onto these charging pins here. And then here at the very bottom is where that little trap door is. So once it backs up into this right here, it will then open up and suck out all of that debris that was in here and bring it into this bin. And this all goes into this bag right here. As far as battery life goes, I was actually pretty surprised. It did a lot of square footage and didn't even go about halfway. I think it was a little bit less than half of the battery that was used up on here to do just my downstairs floor. And the great thing is, is like I said, if it needed to be recharged and to do a little bit more, it'll just actually go back, dock, recharge, and then finish it up. Now overall, super impressed on how well this thing works as a whole system, how it vacuums, how you're able to do everything through the app. Now let's quickly go through a couple of those things I think they might be able to improve on on their next version. Now the first thing I didn't notice is that when this thing would get caught up with some cords, now for the most part, it'll go around the cords, it'll go over the cords without any problem, and normally won't get tangled up. But there has been a few times where my cell phone cord has been on the carpet because I have a plug on the floor and it'll get wrapped up on here. Now, of course, that's a given it's gonna happen, whether that be a hair tie, a phone cord, uh, or just a toy or anything like that where it gets caught up in here. But the one thing is it didn't notify me. It actually didn't notify me in the app. Like it didn't tell me that, hey, the Kneebot stopped and you know you might wanna check it. It didn't tell me anything. So I let them know that I go, hey, you know, I've had it a couple times where I'm running it and I'm assuming it's doing its thing. I come back downstairs after an hour and it's sitting there on my living room, not moving. And I'm like, okay, well, how long has it been there? And I look over and there's my phone cord or something stuck under there. And I'm like, why didn't the app tell me that there's, it's been stopped or it's caught or something along those lines. Now, the second thing is, even though this is a dust free and it auto dispenses, I kind of wish that instead of using bags like this, it was just a canister that's bagless because of the fact that if you are done with these bags, you have to continuously buy the bags for it to properly work within that hole 
on the inside. Now I do hope that they come out with either a dispensing canister here or just a bag that you're able to reuse. Possibly just have it so that you can empty this bag out and then close it back up, whether it just be a zipper or something like that, and then put the bag back in instead of you always having to replace the bag. And the last thing I had questions about was nothing major, but the thing that's interesting about this is that when it does go back to the base, it will back into it this way so that it's able to dispense all of that debris that's in here. It'll then suck it up and put it into the dispenser. But once it's done doing that, what happens is that it comes back out, it turns around, and then it charges it this way. Which is interesting because technically, you have the same pads here. You have the pads right here, and you also have them here. So I'm not sure why you, it's making you turn around and then go in face first to charge when you're already in this way and it's lined up and it's already on those metal charging pads. Why can't it just stay this way and charge after it's done sucking? I don't know why it has to come back out, turn around and go back in. It's not that big of a deal because it, it does it automatically, it does it by itself, but it just seems like it's an extra step that might not be needed. And there it is guys, that's the Nebot Robot Vacuum self-emptying vacuum, which is super cool. Auto charges itself. I mean, it pretty much just runs on its own. All you have to do, of course, is just hit that button on the phone or the remote control and you're good to go. Thanks again to Nebot for sending me this vacuum to review. If you guys are interested in something like this or just want a little bit more information, of course, check out the links down below in the video description. I have a bunch of links to not only where you can purchase this at, like I said, even on Amazon, highly rated on Amazon, so don't just take it from me. Read some of the other reviews on there as well, because this is something that might be interesting to you. And that's about it, guys. Of course, if you guys got value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is Aldrin Stasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.